artificial general intelligence is around the corner. Uh, I would say five years ago, I would never ever have dared to even mention it. Three years ago, I would have said it's crazy. Uh, and a year ago, I started changing my mind. Everything I show can be used in traditional, um, boring maybe, or maybe not, enterprise applications. Yeah? Let's jump to nature's learning method, reinforcement learning, yeah? because this is for developers. Yeah? Um, almost everything in nature, a little simplified maybe, is based on this idea of uh, observing, uh, taking action, and then learning from those actions, basically what we consider the rewards. Yeah? So I, I mentioned to you that gaming is also really awesome to exemplify some of this stuff that is maybe so not so exciting when you look at an Amazon web page and try to understand what's going on. So what we did uh, at Unity was basically to say, can, uh, can the chicken cross the, learn to cross the road? Uh, basically, having the computer only see frame by frame, 80 by 80 pixels, taking four actions, one, two, three, four. We know it means going left, right, forward, backward. Computer knows nothing about that, yeah? And then get the reward signal, which is basically negative for being hit by a car and positive for collecting a gift package, yeah? So let's take a look at the video. Uh, this is before training. Notice how the chicken is moving more backwards than forwards. Yeah? It's completely random exploration, 100% random exploration. Yeah? But look, in a moment, it will actually hit a gift package right there and then get killed by a car. So within 10 seconds, it has two bits of information here. Yeah? Do that over and over and over and over and over. After half an hour, it looks like this. It gets really good at picking packages. It does get killed once in a while here, but it, 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 it gets pretty good at it, yeah? And look at sometimes uh, it sort of stops for a moment. Look, oh, and then it got killed again, yeah? Look after six hours of training, yeah? It becomes superhuman, yeah? yeah? It just will keep going. Do you know why it's moving forward? Because I actually never told it anything about moving forward. I just basically said, pick packages and don't get killed. Why is it moving? One way, I guess. Yeah. There are always more packages in the future than behind you. This is what I call emergent behavior. This is the future of programming, guys. Yeah? The future of programming is to understand this rewards function. If you haven't heard it before, now you have heard it and remember it for the rest of your lives. The rewards function is the magic. The wrong rewards function will give wrong emergent behavior. It may not be evident. I will give one example. Facebook had the wrong rewards function, yeah? It was entirely and only dollars, yeah? No bashing of Facebook, but they over-indexed on revenue and got in trouble, yeah? Amazon has a funny rewards function. It's clicks, activity. And then they think money will follow from activity. If we can get people to click on our stuff, they will end up buying. Yeah? A different rewards function. Yeah? I simplified a little, but rewards functions are important. So all these things I showed you here is basically inspired by biology, easily to implement in a game environment, and then you can, you can really push the boundaries. Yeah? What I want to say here is, that's just biology, yeah? And I want to leave you with just one thought here, which is, the human brain today is the same as it was 50,000 years ago, or 100,000 years ago. So what is it that led to this dramatic revolution in our abilities if our brains have not gotten smarter, because they have not gotten smarter, the same processing power is in those brains. Yeah? It is that they find interesting ways of working together, creating tools that do not get forgotten and are being reused by other people, people standing mentally on the shoulders of each other. Yeah? So when we get to artificial general intelligence, yeah, that's when all these Asians start cooperating. 
And we have not really explored that yet. We will. Yeah. That's what's going to happen over the next few years, is that we're going to start stepping out of this, I'm going to get this single machine learning model, I'm going to get this single computer to do this thing, where we're going to say, I'm going to have a thousand machine learning models working together to solve a problem. Yeah. So draw the analogy here between the human brain and its exponentially increasing capability of doing things without the individual brain being much smarter today than it was 50 or 100,000 years ago. Yeah. So let's learn from biology, but let's not stop there. And we won't stop there because we'll start moving into other aspects of how to create incorporating systems.